What's going on guys? It's me Jiggly and I'm back with another mod block spotlight tutorial for you. And this one is on the Igneous Extruder from Thermal Expansion. Let's learn something new. Well guys, there's a strong possibility that I have butchered the name on this thing. It is the Igneous Extruder from Thermal Expansion. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. But uh, long story short, it's a it's a pretty sweet little machine. So first, let's know how to craft it. That is always, always important. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that uh, real quick for you. Uh, it's going to start at the top with a piston, a machine frame, just like all other thermal expansions. Two copper gears in the bottom with a pneumatic servo, finishing it up in the middle, followed by two glass here on the sides. And that right there will make the igneous extruder. Mixes hot and cold fluids. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let's let's start with the cobblestone, I suppose, and then we'll go to the stone and then the obsidian. And this this bad boy, it'll make smooth stone so much more efficiently than uh, it will if you automate it, I should say. And I'll have to do that just to show you guys. But um, yeah, you could make endless supplies of cobblestone essentially. And then right here, I'll show you what I did uh, afterwards. So let's go ahead and fill this guy uh, with some water and some lava and then let's take a look at it so with cobblestone from what I tested uh, you got water on one side and lava on the other it, it 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 doesn't stop like this thing I don't know if it's I I don't know if it's a bug or what but this thing has made countless stacks of cobblestone which I'll show here briefly uh, so let's go ahead and pull that out now let's tell it to make stone so of course it stops because there's no output connected to it it's gonna make stone and it took all of our water and none of our lava to do that so I mean lava essentially is one bucket so far and you have an endless supply um, real quick though let's take a look at its GUI here its information it mixes water and lava to make different types of igneous rock the selected item is what you get if there's enough water and lava in the tanks guys if you noticed one thing as well it does not take any energy to use this guy there's no RF all you need is hot liquid and cold liquid it does have the augmentations like all other standard thermal expansions at the moment. Allows for automatic transfer out of the device, redstone signal, and allowing you to reconfig the sides. Of course, I have the redstone to disable, and there's our configuration. So it's just important that you have two inputs. Very important. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead and add water back. But let's turn it to obsidian now, and then I can show you what, uh, what the automated look stuff does it's actually really cool looking so here we go boom now as you can see it took all 1000 and 1000 of our lava with water to make one obsidian so it's pretty much one bucket of lava and water to um, water and lava to cool or to make one obsidian oh it's been a long day today guys but let's go ahead and get uh, some quartz pipe real quick just to show uh, quartz transport pipe and a chest just to show the quickness of how quickly this stuff will generate uh, cobblestone so yeah right here guys it's gonna put all my cobble in there I had a full stack sitting there because I didn't have it turned off down here we got a quick aqueous accumulator followed by two water blocks that are hidden and pumping water through the inter IO conduits uh, that is pressurized at 1000 MB and then we got a lava fabricator with an energy cell underneath it producing the lava And as you can see with cobblestone guys it doesn't stop it is incredible look at this just it just does it just keeps going 13 14 it's gonna hit 15 and a 16 so I it, it it's just an endless supply of cobblestone now let's turn it to stone and then we should see the water fall down, but it's gonna instantly. Yeah, it doesn't even it doesn't even phase it. There's so much pressure of water coming through that line that it doesn't even phase the tick on it. Now let's try obsidian and see, see if any of them drop. Uh, no, nope. With the pressurized conduit, there's way too much flow. It's just it's just unlimited. So there goes there goes our obsidian just like that. Up. it's it's just it's crazy but you can see here with this on autopilot essentially if you have enough RF to keep a lava fabricator going uh, 
this this thing is on autopilot right now it'll sit here and just make stacks and stacks of obsidian so if you need something to protect your base from others everybody knows obsidian it's just a pain in the rear to get through <laughs> you need a diamond pick and if you do it deep enough boy you could really be hidden or make yourself a bomb shelter or something totally up to you <laughs> but that is the uh, igneous extruder if I'm saying I genius igneous kind of like igneous rocks I believe from geological terms but uh, yeah that's how you that's how you use this little device it takes no RF just like the Aquas Accumulator. Uh, it is a really sweet little clutch utility block and it's quite easy to make, uh, truth be told. It's not very challenging. So, as always guys, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you can incorporate it in your survival world. This has been a quick brief course and then showing it in action just a little bit, kind of how it works and what it does. So, as always guys, if this has been helpful, smash that like button. Please don't forget to follow on Twitter. Share this with your friends and family. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye.